Hi, this is Thomas with JapaneseGardensDC.com. Uh, this is the uh, beginnings of a uh, Japanese forest garden in Fairfax, Virginia. You can see you have a beautiful basalt fountain trio. There's uh, two basalt columns and in the front there's a basalt basin. And this is really cool. You can see there's actually the actual water coming out of the fountain is illuminated with LED lights and then I also in front have a very soft LED light to illuminate the front of the fountain. Um, in the future we're going to put, do some uplighting uh, of the forest trees and we're going to uh, landscape the rest of the backyard so it'll all be one uh, connected you know Japanese woodland garden so this is just the first phase it's not finished um, this garden is is really cool the fountain and the lights I have controlled by remote control which I'll show you and so it's just like your TV remote um, it works from here on the deck or even inside the house and so I can turn off the front light which will also be the tree up lights in the future, the fountain lights and the fountain, and then I can turn the fountain back on, fountain lights, and the other garden lights. So I tried to use plants to make it feel, you know, like a natural kind of woodland setting. You can see to the left of the fountain and behind the lantern, the tall plant in the back is a beautiful pierced japonica. It has a, a really nice curved trunk. Um, and it'll be loaded with pendulous white flowers in early spring. And actually, it was growing in a different part of the yard in a place where it was kind of in a bad, bad spot. And so uh, we transplanted here. Um, where the lantern is, we're gonna put a Buddha um, so that's just a temporary feature. Um, the plant directly in front of me is an abelia, which blooms for most of the summer and attracts butterflies. This is a dwarf variety. Uh, behind it is a Japanese variegated iris, which is a beautiful plant even when it's not blooming. And then you see we used um, different types of ferns, um, a lot of which we uh, dug from the property. Um, and the juga, mando grass, and some river stone. To the right here is a beautiful winter blooming camellia. It's white, white flowers. It's just loaded with buds. So it's gonna bloom like in the middle of winter, which would be really cool. I'm knowledgeable in all garden styles but the Japanese and Chinese are my specialty. And I design, install, and maintain gardens in Washington, D.C., uh, in Northern Virginia. And sometimes I go out like close in Maryland, like Bethesda. So anyway, if you're interested in a consultation, again, my website is JapaneseGardensDC.com. My email, which is my preferred method of contact, is japanesegardensdc at gmail.com. And my phone number is 703-217-6030. You can call or text me. These fountain lights are really cool. It's actually a ring that's installed around the uh, opening the water comes out of. And so the water is flowing through the light. It's LED. And so at night it actually looks almost like a flame. Pretty cool. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching the video. Thank you very much.